So you now, a Tesla Model X has this adaptive spoiler where uh, the spoiler will adjust uh, based on speed and also um, it, when it's like parked, it will go in this uh, like low uh, off position and then when you drive, it goes up. And um, I think it will do, I will try to like um, uh, give you better range. That's what they say in the website that the adaptive spoiler will give you a slightly better range because it uh, does something, you know, to optimize the drag. Uh, so I took uh, some videos, I went on a spin, I took some videos of uh, the, the dashboard and also the spoiler to see what happens when you drive the car. And um, uh, it's, it is in this, uh, I'm not going to, I don't know, what do you call it, like a normal position. So it starts in this normal position and then uh, I can't really see anything like uh, that it changes that much. I mean it could be some micro adjustments but I kind of doubt it based on what I've seen later. So, uh, so you see here. Okay, we're just driving in some normal traffic. Nothing happens. The spoiler is just there. And by the way, uh, the adaptive spoiler is for Model X performance model or um, the non-performance early models. Yeah. So pretty much nowadays, in order to get the adaptive spoiler, you have to get the performance model. But you see here, once we start increasing speed. This, the spoiler is still at the same uh, position until we hit a magic number, which is 75 kilometers per hour. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, 70, I just slowly increase, and then suddenly at 75, the spoiler tilts down. And I'm not too sure what happens, so the, it diverts the airflow th like differently. Uh, to, uh, probably not to create more downforce. It is, it's probably to, to make it better, like more aerodynamic, you know, to improve the CD value. Uh, so I tried to increase the speed to go even faster to see if anything happens, but um, uh, no change really. Yeah, it just stays there. So um, I guess some uh, aerodynamic experts can uh, can comment about this, uh, like what happens, you know. Um, yeah, an interesting, interesting comment is that what about if I drive with a trailer, because then it would be different, you know, then I kind of want want it uh, to, I don't know, uh, divert the air so it b becomes better with the trailer in mind. But anyway, oh, so in the next clip here, I, switch, uh, I go off the highway and, and then I decrease the speed and you see that the spoiler is still at the same spot until about 10 kilometers per hour. Yeah, then it goes up to that uh, like resting position again and then it just stays there. So it seems like um, the, the break point, at least on the, yeah, on this one is like 75 kilometers per hour, you know, you go down and then you have to wait until 10 kilometers per hour until it goes up again. So it doesn't like go up and down like all the time. So again, we're going to try another um, acceleration, a slow acceleration. And this time I try to gently uh, like increase the speed to see if there is any change in, uh, in the angle of the wing. But at least when I look here, I cannot see any, any difference. The, the, yeah, same thing as last time, you know. Uh, things just happen at 75 kilometers per hour. So, um, and then it will stay in that other position until we uh, decrease the speed down to 10 again. So, anyway, let's see here. 73, 74, 75. Yeah, then it goes down. Yeah. So, um, hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, I know there's been a video about this a long time ago, but uh, I believe like uh, they didn't show you the speedometer. Yeah. So, um, well, okay. So that's it. A short video about the spoiler. I was, uh, I, I, I'm always you know, curious about the, the spoiler. Like, what happens? You know, I, I never really noticed what speed it did all that weird stuff. But I can hear the motor in the back there. It did something from time to time. Yeah. Okay. So. I guess that's it for now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this as usual. So, bye bye.